I dragged my best friend onto here too, and he's going down. <laughs> I'm double jointed in my arms. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm 16, and I'm here with my bestie. Frank, I'm 18. And he's going to help me pick my vet. We um, met in painting class <coughs> together. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and we've been um, best friends ever since. Absolutely inseparable. I am bisexual, but I've actually never dated a guy. I've only ever been with girls, so I'm really excited to see what I can find here today. We have the exact opposite taste in guys. Basically, yeah. Basically. I am looking for someone who's intelligent. I love people with great senses of fashion because I myself love fashion. I would really love for them to be both socially aware and environmentally aware. In a girl specifically, I'm looking for someone who is extremely fun. Someone that I can laugh with for hours and just hang out with without even having to check my phone. Also, another artist like me would be best. I chose Frank to come with me today, obviously because he's my bestie, but also because I trust him with I really do trust him with choosing yeah, who should. I should be with. You should. Because he knows what's best for me, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I want someone to match Kayla's vibe as well as, you know, kind of keep up with her in the sense of she's a very just creative and I don't know how to explain her. She's just an amazing human being and I want her to be happy. And I want her to have that person this summer. My celebrity crushes, oh my gosh, obviously Lana Del Rey, um, Jared Leto, who else? Gigi Hadid, Ooh. Bella Hadid, and Claudine Wolf Rihanna. from Monster High. Rih Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. I don't have a crush on Rihanna at all, sorry. Let's get to work. My name's Sam, I'm 18, and my fun fact is I dragged my best friend onto here too and he's going down. <laughs> I'm Audrey, I'm 16, and I'm a bassist. I'm Ray, I'm 18, my best friend dragged me here and she's going down. Ooh. My name's Eric, I'm 15 years old and I'm a huge car guy. Hi, my name's Kago, I'm 18 years old and I once had the hottest pepper in the world. It was pretty enticing. My name is Lucy, I'm 17 years old, and I am a competitive horseback rider. Hi, my name's Rio, I'm 16, and I'm double jointed in my arms. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, I'm Jose, I'm 15, and I don't like music. Hi, my name is Kiara, I'm 17, and I'm ambidextrous. Hi, I'm Abdul, I'm 17, and I like to cook and play sports. There were a couple of standouts, but the guy that doesn't like music stood out the most because I've never really been able to talk to someone who doesn't necessarily like music. I want to see why he doesn't like music. Me and Kayla are both painters and we met in painting class. Um, what art form do you guys most appreciate and why? I actually really like digital art. I myself do some of that and I take commissions as well occasionally, so I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I'm actually a professional actor, and I have been one since I was 11 years old. I just really have always loved it because it's been kind of a way for me to express myself while not being myself, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, I've always experimented with different forms of art. In high school, I took a graphic design class, but recently I've been doing a lot of like Photoshop, and I actually recently made an album cover for someone. Well, I myself am a uh, professional singer. I've been singing all around the world, including Australia and uh, Italy and Germany, and I love Broadway. I've been on Broadway before, so I really connect with that. More arts instead of like um, more visual, I'm more of a performer art kind of style. I personally love like film and photography, just like the works with like camera. I always dream of like being being involved with like films or anything like that, all the sorts, because like I feel like I personally have potential. I like theater the most. I just connect with it on an emotional level. I go to performing arts high school, so that's what I study a lot of the time. Nothing touches me like theater. I once signed up for a visual arts class at high school thinking it was to do with computers because I love anything technological related. But when I 
I was kind of bummed out when it was with more papers, so. But I really like 3D modeling and graphic design as an artist. My favorite art form is um, acting. I've been acting since I was like three years old. So like it just connects with me because like I like to become a different character and like play different people because it's like an escape from my world to like a different world. I connect with modeling as well as doing visual arts such as aboriginals. Um, I really connect with those things because modeling gives me an outlet to not wear the same clothes and try different styles of clothing and I really connect to the aboriginal spiritual connection that it came from and it's a more carefree type of painting. So most of my life uh, I've been drawing and painting. I prefer still life. I really um, value all creative pursuits but I definitely would love another visual artist. Kayla likes to kind of paint and she's a more visual person. She doesn't necessarily like computer stuff, so I'm sorry, Rio, but it's over. I don't really think Frank did a good job. Uh, he eliminated me based on my love for technology to immediately throw me out because I love computers. I don't really think that was right. Computers? Really? Describe your style and where do you guys personally like to shop? I like to look at a lot of like Korean fashion blogs and I try my best to thrift as much as I can because I don't like supporting fast fashion if I can. I don't necessarily have one inspiration. I like to collect inspirations from places like Tumblr and stuff like that, or people in my life who really inspire me, like artists. And I try to thrift whenever I can because I really hate supporting fast fashion. So I'm actually in the middle of finding my fashion sense right now. I don't really have anything solid, but I definitely will try anything. I usually like go to places like Super Dry. In terms of like thrifting, I probably do that more because I never really had money to explore fashion, so. I like to take my inspiration from like people from like TV and movies like I love like seeing something on TV and being like hey I could totally rock that so like I'll go and try to source that material or something like that or I'll try to find that in like a store and if I can I'll try to go in like a like a thrift shop try to find that there and if I can't then I'll end up buying it online or something but uh, I don't like to do that I try to resort to that like last case scenario. I personally get my inspiration from like Greece, like John Travolta. I love just like that old school, like 50s vibe with like a passion. And I want to say that like I typically shop at like Urban Outfitters or like Zara. I also love taking my fashion inspiration from film. Um, and my mom's a designer, so she has a really big impact on what I like. Um, definitely quality over quantity. I don't really support fast fashion either. So I'm actually in the middle of expanding and just rearranging my closet. Um, I get a lot of my fashion styles and my fashion ideas from just old school 90s chic um, movies like Clueless really inspire me. My personality is goofy so when I look for outfits I look for goofy stuff so I try to like go like sometimes I search online because like you know you go to like a store and you won't see anything goofy so online you can search up a shark riding a tornado or something like that and you'd find it so I usually find my inspiration from models or stuff like goofy. Most of my shoes are actually come from like different songs like ASAP Rocky may, might be one of the biggest influencers for me. Uh, a few of the songs he made about shoes I had to buy them right after so um, and I do not support uh, fast fashion. I like thrifting a lot. You can always find something with that looks great for the lowest value and that's always the best feeling when you find that bargain. There's nothing necessarily wrong with being a little goofy but in terms of Kayla and her fashion sense she does not have time to be goofy so um, I'm sorry Jose but... Bye Jose. I was a little disappointed because, you know, it's always good to be a little goofy in your life, you know, have fun and, you know, just try to live your life to the fullest. So I was a little shocked and disappointed to get eliminated because of my fashion sense. It's not that I don't like music, it's just that I'm not passionate about music. I'll get them next time. If you have a pet, tell me about them, but um, if you don't, just 
talk about your ideal pet. I actually have a dog. He's five years old. His name is Yuki. He's a purebred Shih Tzu, and he is the love of my life. Honestly, if Kayla doesn't choose me, like I still got my dog, at least. <laughs> but I actually haven't slept on my bed in like two months because he's. A, I have a loft bed, and he's afraid to go on the top. So he comes into my room, and he sleeps on the beanbag chair. So I'll cuddle with him at night. That was so personalized. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. I also have a dog. Uh, her name is Molly. She's a Wheaton Terrier. She's really big though. She's like 40 pounds and she's eight years old, but she still acts like a puppy. So when I come in the door and I like open my arms, she'll like run to me and like jump it up, up and like, it's so cute. I love her so much, so. I have a, a miniature poodle named after the great Albus Stumbledore. He's, <laughs> I love him to death. Uh, He's seven years old, but like she said, he's still like a puppy. He'll run around the house and do crazy things. I've got a mini golden doodle named Apollo after the uh, moon missions because he's very um, spunky and very interesting personality. He likes to explore, so he, he's just an amazing dog. And every time I open the door and I get home from school, he runs and jumps into my arms and it's just such an amazing dog. I have an eight-year-old golden retriever. His name is Bordeaux. And his name is, when he was a puppy, he would always go into like the wine coolers or something like that, and he would always sniff the red wine Bordeaux. And then that's how we named him because he just loved that sense. He was a little alcoholic, but just like, he, he knows how to have fun. I have the, arguably the best dog in the world. Uh, he's a French bulldog, he's black, sorry. Uh, his name is Meatloaf. He sits there, he sleeps, and when you rub behind his ears, he goes <laughs> he goes. Do it again. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, please. So, unfortunately, I had a dog, but he passed away. Um, so, if you were to ask me what my ideal dog would be, it would be him. Uh, he gave you hugs on command. He was literally like having a little kid right beside you. Um, poor Milo. So, when I was younger, I was born and raised in Bangladesh, and my mom was in college, so my grandpa took care of me most of the time, and when he was away, I would hang out with this dog that he picked up, and she soon became my best friend. And it was probably the saddest moment of my life when I left my grandpa and the dog back in Bangladesh. So to this day, I still don't know what happened to her, but if I would have an ideal pet, it would probably be what she was to me growing up as a child when I didn't have anyone besides her. I was really on the fence, but I'm sorry, Ray, but... Honestly, I made it further than I thought I was going to because the other people were like leagues above me. I don't want to say I felt cheated, but <laughs> Sam, I don't think you can last that much longer. Do you believe in paranormal things? Do you guys like um, conspiracy theories, Shane Dawson fans or anything? It would be cool to know if like ghosts exist and they're like messing around with people's lives occasionally. Um, so I guess deep down in my heart, like, yeah, I'll believe it. I'm actually kind of a diehard fan of Shane Dawson. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing. I get really invested in the conspiracy sometimes. Um, as to whether or not I believe them, I feel like it kind of just depends on like the day. Like, I feel like to some extent, yes, but to some extent, no. I like to read conspiracy theory stories. They're very investing and like sometimes like people go really into it and it's a really good read. Whether I believe them or not, it depends on how realistic it was. Like if there are like real elements and like real world places and things like that, I could really honestly see myself like really in being invested in believing it. But um, as for like ghosts, something like that, not so much. I like to believe specifically aliens because we're such like we're such a tiny speck in this universe and like we don't know what's gonna what's out there i'd like to believe that there is something out there i don't know i swear to god the house that i lived in when i was younger was haunted so i'm gonna stand by that i think i 100 percent believe in um paranormal activity and aliens and conspiracy theories. Uh, that's all I watch when I'm at home. I like to read about it and learn more because it's really hard for, for me to believe that we're the only important things in this universe. I believe that there's other worlds. Whenever I eat, I would just watch conspiracy theory videos because uh, they're always entertaining and they always get you to start thinking about things that you normally wouldn't think about. So just like everyone has said before uh, about the that we're specks of dust in the universe. I feel like there's always something out there and conspiracy theories and supernatural things make your mind uh, think more about stuff that you wouldn't normally think. So like personally, like I do believe some, 
but like not a lot because there's a lot of things out there that shouldn't be said. I personally believe in ghosts and I personally believe in aliens 100% I am proud to say that. I would really love someone who I can have long conversations with about aliens or ghosts, someone else that knows a bunch of facts, a bunch of other scary stories because it's one of my personal favorite topics. I'm sorry but you said you don't necessarily believe in ghosts and I don't think Kayla would be okay with that so. Hi, Eric. That's unfortunate. I just don't really believe in ghosts. I mean, I believe in aliens, sure, just not so much ghosts. Roses are red, violets are blue. Sometimes it don't be like that, but sometimes it do. What is a social or environmental issue you guys are passionate about and why? I'm really passionate about animal cruelty in fashion and cosmetics. I actually did a school project on it and I'm still doing it. Um, I just think that cosmetics and fashion, it's not like a necessity in life, right? So we have the alternatives to make it cruelty free, yet people still, companies just want the money and will like torture animals going through those like those tests when you don't need it. I'm very passionate about climate change and the effects of even the small things that we do. So like I use a metal straw, I'm a vegan because of the methane uh, reduction purposes. I'm very passionate for gun control. Last year, as you may know, the notorious uh, Douglas school shooting, I had friends there. I was all the way here in Leonia, New Jersey, and I didn't know what I could do. I wanted to do something, so I went to my guidance counselor, I went to the principal, and I helped lead a march in my town because I don't want anyone to go through that ever again. I'm really passionate about the intersection between gender equality and racism. Um, as someone who is a woman and is biracial, it's something that um, I and a lot of my friends have to be reminded of every day. Um, so it's just very close to home. One of the societal issues that I'm really um, headstrong about is um, how women are treated and their um, education about sexual and reproductive health. Um, I feel like it's really important for women around the world to know about their rights and to know about how they should take care of themselves. So like I said before, I was born and raised in Bangladesh for like a good part of my life. And it's a third world country, so there's a lot of pollution. And growing up, seeing that, I didn't really know because I wasn't aware. So that led me as I was growing up to make the decision to join environmental engineering as my major. And I helped lead a march uh, for awareness because even though you can, you know, stop, clean up stuff and uh, do a lot of, you know, physical stuff, awareness is what really, really matters to me. So I do whatever I can and uh, to help the people that aren't aware because if they knew, they would change it. Kayla is not shy to voice her opinions on certain social and environmental issues. And I want to know if someone would be comfortable if a loved one had an opposing opinion on a certain thing. But it'd be best to have someone who's just as passionate as me. You all had valid topics, but certain topics Kayla likes to discuss more. So Audrey, I'm really sorry, but... It's all good. I, I understand that a lot of people have different things that they care about, so I really understand why um, I was chosen. It hurt a little being the first girl out, but it's okay. There had to be one. What time era would you guys want to live in? And why? I'd really like to go maybe like 30, 50 years into the future just to see what kind of things that we have achieved. Like, did we re achieve like time travel, teleportation? Did we fix like anything? Did we find a new way to test makeup on without having it on animals? Yeah, I just want to know if we did what we wanted to do. I personally just want to say like the 50s, as I said before, like, Greece and like John Travolta, like that really just like inspired me a lot. I really like the 70s. Everyone was killing it, glowing. I love disco fashion. Um, it's just fun and sparkly. It would be any time from like the 70s to the 90s. Um, I feel like that time was like, even though there were a lot of societal issues, I feel like it was more of a time where family was more important. Um, the fun that people had was more pure and not a lot of people were very materialistic like people were okay with having their bell bottoms and their adidas like everybody was okay with how they looked. So I would prefer living in the future 
not really live in the future, but to go in the future, because uh, a lot of the movements that I want to see that impacts the future, like I want to see that the things I've done right now has changed the future. The people back then didn't know that what we are, that what's happening right now, is happening. But when I go to the future, I want to see that the things I've done has made an impact that makes me feel like the work I've done is something that helped change the world. Living in the moment is really important for Kayla and believing in ourselves and this time period is extremely, extremely important. Not only to me, but to her too. So Kiara, I'm really sorry, but it's time to go. It kind of felt a little unfair because I would like to be a part of the past. However, I'm open to the future and the present. If I knew exactly what he was looking for, I would change my answer. Do you personally follow astrology? Like, what is your sign and do you think it matches you? I'm a Capricorn and yes, I do believe in astrology. I think it's just fun to see how people interpret me based on like when I was born. Everyone thinks Capricorns are greedy. I just think life would be easier with a lot of money. I am a Pisces. I want to invest myself more into astrology and stuff like that because I know some friends who are, are actually like very invested in this and it really like, just like the curious part of me just wants to know like, oh, why do, you why do we believe in this or that? Like why does like being born in this specific time like shape the personality? I love astrology, I really do. I'm an Aquarius. I think astrology is great. I think everyone's just trying to understand themselves. I'm a Sagittarius and over the past few years, I like to read the uh, horoscopes and I like to read what's just what I'm gonna do today or like what I'm gonna do tomorrow because it's really funny and it kind of makes me want to go and look at the other signs and see what they're doing. I'm looking for a Sagittarius, a Libra, a Gemini, or a Cancer. Also, I love Scorpios as well. If they're not that much into zodiac signs, that is completely okay. It's definitely not a deal breaker. It's interesting that we have like different signs. It's not like a copy of each other. But I'm sorry, Pisces. You are just not compatible with us fire, so. Honestly, like, I, the second I heard that question, I sort of knew that I was gonna get out. I just wasn't aware too much of, like, astrology in the first place. I'm just aware of, like, my zodiac sign, really. I feel like anyone's compatible if you actually put your heart into it. Me and Kayla love to just be outrageous and loud in the street. I mean, not necessarily loud, but, um, do you guys get kind of, like, like, in the street, do you guys, like, are more reserved or like, are you guys kind of like? I I think it really depends on who I'm with. Like if my, I'm, I'm with my mom, she's a very reserved person. So I'm like, I'll try not to annoy her. But I'm if, if I'm with my friends and stuff, it's really hard to control ourselves when you're having fun with the people you love. When I'm with my friends, it's always a good time. We like, we don't even realize if we're being loud or not. But if we can, we'll try to like not annoy other people, if they, especially if they tell us to like shut up, but. I'm from a small town um, and that gets kind of annoying sometimes. So I like shock value. I don't mind being loud. You know, stir up some trouble. For me, it doesn't really matter where, where I am. I try to be myself. Uh, sometimes if I see some like funny things, like I'll start laughing. If I'm one of our friends, we'll be joking around. We'll, we'll probably, probably be like the loudest people on the street usually when we're with each other. So like to me, it doesn't really matter what other people think as long as I'm having fun and being me. I mean, we just <laughs> like to have fun. Yeah, we are so okay with making a fool of ourselves. Yeah, I think it's honestly, <laughs> I, th I think it's funny. Yeah. I think it's just funny. Laughs and giggles are incredibly important. So Kayla likes to be herself in front of her mom too, so Sam, I'm sorry. Okay. It was nice to meet you in the car. I was hoping to last as long as I did, but I thought I was gonna get out like fifth, fourth. At first, beating Ray was kind of like, it was a joke, it was like friendly competition, but actually seeing him have to leave the area kind of sucked. I felt really bad, and I hope he doesn't hate, like hold it against me eventually. At least I get, I get bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> he does not care. Tell me why I should personally pick you for my best friend. Kayla, girl, 
<laughs> I'll treat you right. I really oh. would. And if we don't work out, I feel like we're pretty similar. We could be great friends. Uh, Kayla, I really think you should pick me because, I don't know, based on the things that your best friend has said, I really do like the way you think. And uh, based on my personality, I really do think we're gonna uh, match. And I have a lot of stuff that I like to talk about. And I feel like you're an outgoing person that also has a lot of stuff that she wants to talk about. And from the way I see your fashion from behind here, I really do like the fashion sense, especially that it's really outgoing. Thank you. I decided to choose Lucy because of the issues that she decided to choose. Um, Kayla is more interested in that, so I feel like they would perfectly match. <laughs> being the runner-up was um, how it feels like being a runner-up. I was close, but not close enough. Lucy was definitely um, showing a competitive edge the whole time. She was kind of telling me to that, that I was going to lose, which was uh, kind of funny. At the end of the day, I lost, and she came on top. Hi. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Lucy's gorgeous. I really liked her answers, yeah. and she said she was going to treat me right. So that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Girl, like, you're cute. Thank you. You're cute. <laughs> Kayla's a lot of fun, and you're gonna have a lot of fun just running around the city and going to experience different places with her. That's what really attracted me to her, so have fun in the summer. My bestie did pick <laughs> my bae, and she's right here. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I really like her. There was one point where Sam and I looked at each other, and we were like, it's me or you, girl, like. I really liked when she said that she cared about racial justice because that's something that was, that's important to me and no other contestant gave that answer. We got the chance to talk and like we really hit it off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I didn't really have any preconceived ideas of the girl I was gonna end up leaving with but it's a pleasant surprise and I really like her because she wasn't what I was expecting. I'm pretty happy it was a girl because <laughs> I just love girls. I think Frank did an amazing job at picking my bae. I'm really happy with my decision. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. And leave a big thumbs up for and us. And comment.